Hello everyone. This video, I'm going to explain what is electric and also what is magnetic field coupling. Electric is also known as capacitive coupling, while magnetic field is actually known as inductive coupling. In general, okay, we can actually divide the EMI coupling into two different types. The first one is near field. The next one will be far field. In this diagram here, you can see that the X axis is actually the distance from the source, while the Y axis is actually the wave impedance. So when they are actually so-called at the near field coupling, okay, the separation between the noise and the victim, they are actually very close. In fact, they need to be less than one, okay, which is lambda over two pi. As for far field, okay, the separation between the noise and the victim is greater than one, which means that they are actually having a distance longer than lambda over two pi. Okay, you can see the highly correlate between the first diagram and the second diagram. This is what we know as near field. So basically, this is what we, again, on near field. So basically, on near field, okay, it can be either inductive or capacitive coupling. As for far field, you can see that they are actually related to electromagnetic coupling. Right in between the near and far will be the transition period. So basically, this will be the transition period. When the antenna just release the EM wave in the air, okay, there will be definitely more refraction. Okay, so therefore, over here, you can see that the power source actually radiate and also there will be a continuous refracted wave. So basically, this form here, we call this either inductive or capacitive coupling. As for electromagnetic coupling, they actually reach that far away and basically they were continuous to radiate outward and they were never reflected back to the earth. Okay, so basically, this is the zone that we are going to concentrate, inductive and also capacitive coupling. This is what is actually a capacitive coupling here. Okay, the electric field okay, or the capacitive coupling is actually a phenomenon where an electric field actually transfer energy or signal between two conductors that are actually separate by an insulating medium. Okay, so basically this is one conductor, this is another conductor. This conductor has a higher potential, so therefore this will actually couple the energy over to the another conductor which have lesser potential energy. So basically this form here is what we call a capacitive coupling or E field coupling. Okay, next will be the H or magnetic coupling here. So basically you have learned this in your secondary school day, when a current flow on a conductor, they actually generate magnetic field. And this is how we actually do wireless power transfer. Imagine this, current flow, and they basically have magnetic field generate and basically the magnetic actually couple the energy from one coin to the other coin. Okay, with this, if you're keen to know more about capacitive or maybe inductive coupling, okay, please take a look on the playlist. Thank you so much.